Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jazz Dami. Check out my interview on Desi Express on the Surge Kumar Show. The Surge Kumar Show. All right, guys, welcome to another edition of the Surge Kumar Show. Guys, I'm privileged and humbled to have somebody on my show that's quite private. I'm talking about the talented, the heartthrob, the baby face assassin singer. Jazz, dummy. Nice to meet What's you, up, man. Good. good. Yeah, good. Thank you. Is that it? Both of you are very good, man. <laughs> it's good being here, man. Thank you for having me. It's not a bit hot, is it? No, both of you. Yeah, it's good. It's All nice. right, good stuff. Now, um, we're going to be talking about your new single with Tiger Star. Yeah, yeah. Sitare. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to get to know a little bit about you. And we've got a little rapid fire round. A bit of a, a tongue in cheek, so you've got to answer those questions as uh, I'll honestly do my best. as I'll do my best, yeah. Just pretend, just pretend uh, you know, nobody else is here at all. All right. Okay, yeah. Is nobody else is here. <laughs> all right, then pretty stuff. So let me let me start off with um, Tiger Style. How did you get involved with the Tiger Style? You know Instagram? what, Tiger Style, um, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really inspired by the way they work, man. Because they've been in the industry for so long and be persistent with their music and just with um, successful songs as well. Um, but I've been trying to work with him for the past two, three years. I mean, he's, they sent me some beats that um, that I was really, I really, I was really keen on working on, but it, it just didn't work out. So recently, when I was in India this year, they sent me. I um, I contacted them and said, "Look, we should work on something," and they sent me over a song, this song, Sitari. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, "Yeah, man, this song's popping. I think I could do something on this." And then off the back of that, we did another song as well, um, which I'm going to be reviewing later on this year or next year. But Sitari is the first song that we worked on together, and it's just kind of. Um, it's simple as they sent me the song within two three weeks we um, kind of finalised it and yeah. the song was done man and then we just shot the video last week okay written by is it Breathe Kanwal yeah yeah, alright yeah, yeah. cool um, can we have a little bit of a I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to sing too much I don't want to sing can we have a couple of lines in it's going to be out in the next three four weeks anyway so I'm sure but I think I think you know the fans you owe it to the fans okay um Jiddene da ye kiva tu saal tap gayi Sajjeri javani wali gal pak gayi I saved the rest for later for okay. the release and Is it a club? It sounded quite... It's quite... Talking, it's, quite, it's, quite, it's, it's, quite it's quite... It's quite a melodious kind of vibe, man Yeah It's um... It's... It's like... Yes, it's melodious, melodious, nice um, heart touching kind of song, man. It's, it's really nice. Okay, is it like uh, any of the other tracks that you've done before? Um, or is it something brand new? It's um, it's got the same kind of feel as maybe like Zulfa, uh, Be Parvanya, but it's obviously lyrically it's completely different. Okay. And the vibe is more obviously it's more of a uh, it's got an urban kind of vibe to it as well yeah. with a Punjabi kind of melody. Okay. Now you come across as very. Sangda, yeah. you know, shy, kind of innocent smile, but when you're behind that mic, you're devastating. <laughs> um, and now, obviously, you've been training since you yeah. were nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you've got a history of uh, music within your family as well, your dad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, used to be in a group as well. Yeah. Now, you've also uh, studied music in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I think you guys want to yeah. know about this. I studied at Paul McCartney School of Music. It's wow. called Lipper, Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. Um, you know, I was quite lucky to get into this university because they have like over, I think, 12,000 applicants that apply f apply for this um, particular wow. course, Popular Music and Sound Tech. And I was lucky enough to be one of them, kind of like 30 students yeah. um, for this course. And, you know, just the experience of, of working with people from around the world, musicians, um, writers, uh, just music heads and being in one room and just making music and just... Um, someone's from like a Mexican background there's a guy from Germany there's a guy from I don't know from France they've got different completely different backgrounds and we just combine them together and making a, a new vibe that's what it's about in this place okay. uh, everyone's creative I mean there's like so many different parts of this university as well there's like there's performing arts where people are like they basically um, they select like for example 10 people from from different groups and they put them together and they make a random piece of music but also a play as well with it okay. so it's kind of the whole setup was a bit crazy and, and like <laughs> to be honest it was like for that that time for me was like a life changing moment going to that university sure. because before that I was just doing a like an information communication technology like yeah. course GMVQ and I didn't know whether I was going to be <laughs> and did you really want to do that? I didn't want to do it but it's just I, I came back from India after my education in India and I was studying there um, classical music out there and I, I didn't know where I was going but after this time going sure. to his university it kind of all opened up and my, my kind of path kind of was kind of laid for me. Okay. And did you get to meet 
Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah, yeah, I met him at my graduation. Wow. Yeah, I met him at my graduation. He gave me my certificate, man. That was a big moment for. I haven't seen a picture of that. You've not put that picture up, have you? So no, I, I haven't. No, I haven't. You have to send us that picture so we can get some of the interview. All right, all right. Okay, I can do that. I can oh, do that. Brilliant. It's a big moment for me, but for my dad as well, man. Yeah, like, he's a Beatles, Beatles fan. You know, yeah. that era of music was was a massive era for like for indie kind of like pop, like kind of rock, that kind of style of music they were making. And my dad was into that kind of music. Yeah. So when I met him, he was like, he was over the moon, man. It was, it was a good moment for me, man. Tell me about Teke Wali. You know, one of my favourite songs. Oh, is it? Yeah. You know what? I love your new stuff as well. But you know yeah. what? I love, uh, you know, I love the old stuff with Roger Millier. Seriously? And, and that dance move, man. You know what? <laughs> if you're companion, you know what? I was saying to Zeus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Zeus, you know, there's a little foot, foot tap yeah, and yeah. the moves, man. You know what? It's good. Tell me a little bit how, you know, how did you feel when, you know, Teke Wali came out? Yeah. You know, lot to lot. People were listening to your stuff and yeah. you were hearing your stuff yourself, you know, on the radio, on TV. How did it make you feel? You know, um, yeah, Take You Wally was a song that kind of game put me in the platform in the UK doing the foundation. Yeah. But before that, I had a song called um, Sabi Jinjar, which is a massive track in Punjab, but lot, not many people knew about the song yeah. um, in England, maybe. But um, yeah, Take You Wally for me, like, was, it was just hearing my song on the radio, you know, just um, hearing a creation that, like, because a song's like a baby, like, you see it basically from, from nothing. I know, it's, it's like Kagaj Deo Tebas Likira Likira Hande Gana Likira Hande And you make it from that And then you see it grow into a, into a composition You see it grow into uh, a loop putting on there Or even a beat um, Then the whole track getting The whole tr- foundation of the track Is being produced And then you get it mixed And then you get it mastered And then you go out and make a music video And then you release it It's, it's like you see the growth from nothing So to have that and, and, and you kind of see the finished product Out in the market And people appreciating it you know, you can't beat that feeling, man. It's, it's a wicked feeling. And for all my songs, every song I do, like every the first time it's even played on radio, I'm always nervous. Because I think, <laughs> how are people gonna, are people going to like this yeah. song? Obviously, I'm confident in the song. I'm completely confident in, in, in what I've made, the creation I've made. But it's always, it's, it's down to the fans. You know, they, they are the deciders if they like the song or not. And, and with Take You it was the same. But in the same way, it was it was nice to feel that people appreciated that in all my other songs okay. as well. Now, Oman Hay has been quite instrumental yeah. uh, in your start in starting Korea, and then obviously recently as well, you did track with him as well. Um, tell me about your relationship with Oman Hay. Um, are okay. you guys related? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> Oman. I heard a rumour that you guys were related somewhere down the right. No, we're not related. <laughs> but my dad used to work with his dad in Leamington okay. Spa. So um, that's, how, that's how my dad got to know Oman uh, because of his dad. And then we met at um, someone's wedding in Bristol, I think it was. My dad's mate's son's wedding. And, sure. and then from then, like, relationships, relationships kind of started. And then we recorded Sadi Jin Jan, then Take You Ali, and then now Sitri as well. All right, cool. Now, uh, about a year ago, you broke a number of female hearts, didn't you, as well? Okay. Did you know about that? No. I was, I'm sure you do. No. Did You got married, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> 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 really? Yeah. So, so, so the fans uh, will not know. So, you're not married then. You know, you're single. I prefer, or you're I prefer to keep my private life <laughs> completely private. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we won't touch upon that then. Right, okay, we're going to go into my rapid fire round now. Okay. Right now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, got some questions for you. Okay. Open and honest. <laughs> Only if you let me do it with you then, yeah. Forget about the yeah. All right, cool. All right. Okay, so I've got a few questions. Okay. Nadik, he's already <laughs> looking at the questions. <laughs> All right, okay. Who keeps you grounded the most? Is it my dad? My dad. Your dad. Okay. Yeah, he still says to me, "Bas mint kariya, bas do do your thing," and I still get the odd gara gula ke mint ni kiti aj. So it's my dad. He he's the one that keeps me grounded completely. My family, my whole family does actually. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, right, a singer you'd like to collaborate with? Because mm. I know there's a lot of singers starting to collaborate now. But you know, Dajit did with you know Gurdas Man recently. Yeah. Is there anybody that you know? But are you talking Punjabi, English? Anybody uh, that you like, anybody that you you know that's on your radar that you know what I'd like to do that. You know, I think it'd be so interesting for people around the world if I did a collaboration with like a mainstream artist, like someone like I don't know Chris Brown, I don't know someone like Ed Sheeran, I don't know. It's just yeah. I just think for for Punjab obviously or even the Punjab industry yeah someone like um, hmm, I'm trying to think it's a tough one isn't it yeah it is a tough I know one. You, you know, I know obviously you. Gurdas is the greatest so I'd love to work with someone like Gurdas Man um, but it's hard to kind of pick one artist 
But you've got to pick one. You've got to break a few hearts. Sequinda Singh, man. Okay. He's dope. He's a dope singer, man. And I used to love what, you know, again, it's my colleagues. I'm just trying my age now. My colleagues used to sing a lot of songs for the Hindi films back in the day. All right. Um, Hogi Pyar Jeet, he did, he did a song in that as well. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, he's, he's one of my favourites from back in the day. He's, he's not that much on the scene anymore now, is he? He's, he's, quite, he's still the power voice, man. Yeah. He, he just said he much as Hebzad there. That was a massive soundtrack. I've man. not heard that at all yet. You gotta hear the soundtrack. It's phenomenal. Yeah. The what, the way he's expressed himself through through them lyrics, oh, it's phenomenal, man. He's 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 the most expressive singer I've ever heard. Well, in our kind of sorry, in our generation, he's the most expressive sing, expressive singer. Big up to Queen the Sing. Yeah, man, it's phenomenal. All right, guys. Okay, um, your favorite dish, English and Punjabi. Hmm. Uh, Punjabi are like. Are you veggie or meaty? Don't need khali there. Yeah, good, good, <laughs> good. Um, I like chicken, man. Um, maybe I don't know. Anything with chicken in it? Meat jar. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. <laughs> uh, for English, um, you know, I like a roast. I love roast. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, good, good, good. Right, now, what would you do if you woke up as one of the following? Dajit Dasanj. I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West. Oh, he's a G, man. Of course, man. I'd be happy with him. <laughs> okay, and finally, David Cameron. Uh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that look. <laughs> no, no. David Cameron, no, no. All right, okay. Um, the best producer that you've worked with so far, out of the Be- follow. Best what, sorry? Music producer that you've okay. worked with so far. I'm on here, yo yo, with Dr. Zeus. You can't say, I can't say any of them because they're all good in their own way. So, like, I can't pick one, man. They're, they're, all, they're all three are wicked. I thought I'd try any, but uh, you know what I mean? But that's a guy. Okay. They're, they're all my bros and they're all good, man, what they're doing. So good, good. Respect good. to them all, man. All right, okay. Do your rendition of Zulfan in a rock rock version. So, if you had to do Zulfan in a rock version, yeah. how would you do it? But I need a guitarist. I, all right. Um, <laughs> 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 Imagine the room is coming in. Yeah. All you need to know is slash behind it, that's it now, the guitarist. Okay, now, the best Punjabi singer in the UK, in your opinion. Mm. You can pick yourself if you want to. Mm. I think Shin. No, Mongol Singh. Mongol Singh. Mongol Singh. Yeah, okay. Oh, Shin, cool. Shin and Mongol Singh. My oh. f- yeah. Okay. All right, brilliant stuff. All right then. Um, so guys, that's a wrap. I'm with Jazz Dummy. Doesn't get any bigger than that. All right, Sitare. When's it coming out, Jazz? Um, real soon. We'll be releasing the dates uh, on my Facebook and my Twitter and on my social media. So, right. be real soon. Okay. And you're off to America as well. So if you guys want to tell off yeah, the cameras, we'll be out in New York, in um, Washington DC, and Sacramento. Sorry, in yeah, in San Francisco. So if you guys are in the cities. I'll see you guys there. We'll see you. Brilliant stuff, guys. It's Serge and Jazz Dami. Peace out. Yeah, man, guys. We'll see you soon.